Hey guys, so I want to talk to you about a subject all about rejection. So a couple of months ago, I made a decision that I wanted to take all of my talent and bring my expertise to a network into a podcasting department. If you're new to my feed or my story, I have been writing, hosting, directing, producing, developing all things podcasting since 2017 when I first launched my podcast. And I decided that I wanted to pivot things in my business and my brand and bring everything I knew to a network. Let me just explain something to you. I'm putting together a resume with somebody that has done insane things in her career, especially over the last two decades. Putting all of that on a piece of paper, like one page is pretty much impossible. So basically I pitched myself with my book, my brand, my podcast, and just me. And so I looked for all the jobs that were hiring with networks like Hello Sunshine that I pitched and pitched and pitched and still have yet to hear back from them. Netflix, Spotify, Barstool Sports, um, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Wondery, so many networks, all the networks. And over the last couple of months, I have been rejected, I think to date, 117 times. Do you know how difficult and humbling that is? I've taught myself every single thing that I know and I pitch myself and I'm applying for these jobs and I'm like, I want to keep creating on a larger scale. I want to bring everything that I know to you. But for some reason, when you own your own business and you're an entrepreneur and you're doing things that networks don't do and you're doing the jobs of six people, maybe they want nothing to do with you. Maybe they think you're going to try to steal their clients. Maybe because you already have a successful show, you it's a conflict of interest. But I don't know these answers because no one ever gave me a shot. No one ever picked up the phone and had like a 20 second conversation. I don't know the answers. So I decided that it was time to make some changes in my business and just redirect. And I realized like maybe I needed this fire lit under my ass again to just like create more and truly help like more people on a larger scale that I continue to create. Because as an entrepreneur, I have all the time and freedom that I want to create my own business, right? I develop podcasts for a living. I host my own show for a living. I can do that at four in the morning or at four in the afternoon if I want, but still do my job, right? If I go to corporate America, that's never going to happen. And I also haven't had a corporate America job in over a decade. So I wanted to share that. You need to redirect after rejection. And if you want to read the entire kind of sentimental, here comes the helicopter, um, newsletter, it is on my LinkedIn. The link is in my bio. I'm going to do a part two.